Hi, I'm Leah. Welcome to my channel. I'm a licensed esthetician, and if you keep up with today's latest science and trends regarding skincare, you're going to love this video. Today, we're talking about cellular senescence in an easy, understandable way, so you not only know what it is, what to look for, but also the products that are going to treat it. And you may already be treating cellular senescence and not even know about it. So first, what is cellular senescence? Well, if you're using a skincare routine, you already are used to taking care of and treating your skin. We protect it against inflammation, pollution, UVA, UVB, blue light, and stress. But sometimes things that happen to our skin are beyond our control, such as cellular senescence, which is a naturally occurring part of the aging process. So we already know our skin does a really good job at repairing itself on its own. However, certain circumstances make a cell um, unable to be repaired and that is beyond our control, but what happens to the cell? Well, on a cellular level, our skin is constantly renewing itself. A part of healthy cells in the skin is always regenerating, multiplying, and dividing. This not only keeps our cells healthy and vibrant, but is a part of keeping us protected and our skin intact. However, over time, certain cells just stop multiplying and dividing but the cells actually don't die. They actually, actually remain in like a halt or a standstill. This halt means they're no longer acting like healthy cells and this is the state of cellular senescence. So when the cells are in the state of senescence, they're metabolically active, which means they're still secreting. This isn't all bad because when they start in this halt, they actually stop dividing, which can lessen chances of bad things happening, such as skin cancer. It used to be thought that cellular senescence just a process of our tissues naturally aging. However, now we understand as science has advanced and we can learn more on a cellular level, these senescent cells actually play a huge role in aging. And this is because too many senescent cells or halted cells or non-dividing uh, cells can actually have an effect on the surrounding cells that are still healthy. So as we age, like I said, it's a natural process that we get more senescent cells that stop uh, multiplying and dividing and actually secrete proteins and enzymes that cause inflammation. Now increased inflammation actually breaks down our healthy collagen and elastin and it does it quicker. Collagen elastin is the framework of our skin and what keeps it healthy, strong, firm, and tight. So with more senescent cells than healthy cells and their impact on healthy cells, this can actually throw your skin into an accumulation of senescent cells that we now call SAPS, SAPS, senescent associated secretory phenotype. Another key for me to know if somebody has an accumulation of senescent cells is they're using all the right skincare, they're exfoliating, they're using a hyaluronic acid, they're using the most like nourishing moisturizer, but their skin is still dull and it's still dry and lacks like a skin healthy luster. That is when your skin has an accumulation of these halted cells. How do you know if you have cellular senescence? Like I said, we all have it, but some people just have more and we can treat it. So what to look for to know if you have an accumulation of senescent cells? Well, honestly, it's kind of easy to know because this accumulation of standstill, standstill cells leads to a, like a landslide of more aging issues such as fine lines, laxity, wrinkles, and pigment. As you guys already know, science is always advancing. We're always looking for ways to treat aging issues and that also means more products that are gonna treat this aging phenomenon of cellular senescence. In fact, a lot of brands are actually coming out with products and technology to treat this issue in particular. 
However, with that said, we probably, and you don't even know it, are already treating cellular senescence without even knowing it. So ingredients you should already be using, but also help with senescence is retinoids because they're increasing cellular turno turnover. That means they're removing these cells that are old and sluggish and can be harming the healthy cells around it. It helps cellular turnover and removes them so that only healthy, vibrant young cells remain. First, antioxidants are neutralizing those free radicals and protecting your skin against oxidative damage. And then peptides just naturally make your skin respond with a healthier skin barrier, protect it from other issues that can cause inflammation and lead to senescent cells. And growth factors, especially those with exosomes, think neogenesis, osmosis, and plated, actually contain necessary proteins that encourage the skin to regenerate at a cellular level which actually has the ability to counteract the effects of senescent cells. Molecules from stem cells are all about maintaining and repairing. A lot of our newer brands who are focused on biotech, such as Plated, uh, actually are great for counteracting senescent cells. In one of my previous videos recently, I also talked about Pavise and their role in impactful skincare and science is all about senescent cells. Their diamond core technology, like I said, is really changing the industry. And because a lot, a lot of people currently understand senescent cells, even though we all have it, um, these zombie cells, because they can be uh, so negative to our long-term skin health, this diamond core technology was created to counteract as well as prevent it. Diamond core technology from Pavis is not only special because it helps regenerate and rejuvenate the skin, bringing in new molecules, healthy molecules, creating more hyaluronic acid in the skin that all counteract cellular senescence while also improving the overall health of the skin. It also has a special advantage moving this disruptor that causes cellular senescence. By targeting cellular senescence or these zombie cells, we have the ability to counteract and stop the aging process that not only leads to accelerated aging with fine lines and wrinkles, loss of firmness and elasticity, but also has the potential to lead to hyperpigmentation and even cancer cells. Consistently using the correct products will lead to long-term health of our skin and and help to make sure your skin stays in a non-senescent state. I'm going to list all the products below that are specific to targeting cellular senescence and just even putting one of these products into your routine, you're going to help your skin for the long term. I hope this video was so helpful on understanding zombie cells, cellular senescence, and the role it plays in your skin's aging. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see you guys next time.